Chef Chris Ho from Perfect Pair Bistro in our kitchen this morning doing wonderful dishes from the fall menu which started this week so make sure you go by and and see them and I just was sharing with uh, Chef Chris what I loved about today is that you're using pretty much the same ingredients in all three recipes and then what did you share with me? Well we uh, our original location was such a small small spot uh, we didn't have a lot of room so we always had to re reinvent the same items over and over, it, different utilizing um, different cheeses, but kind of, yeah, reusing but the But the same. beautiful part about it, though, Chef Chris, we do the same thing, uh, you know, yeah. we, in our kitchen. We try to utilize, you know, chicken multiple ways. Absolutely. You know, how many times can mommy make this different? <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. So this um, dish that you're making is the tacos. Yes. So we introduced tacos on the menu this uh, just recently uh, with this new menu rollout. We've been playing with them on different uh, tapas menus and happy hour and things like that. So this go around, we decided to put them on the full menu and see how they worked out. So and that it, butternut squash again, we that was, saw that. Yeah, caramelized onions, butternut squash. Okay. And the other thing about it, it seems that tacos are very trendy right now. Oh, yes, they are. They're kind of everywhere. I agree. I agree. And then the so, quinoa. Yeah. So this one, I mean, we're just going to try and, these are already pre-cooked, so it is just warming them up, warming them through. Okay. And, and in quinoa. Home, in our yeah. kitchen, all those, all those chefs out there watching this morning, we're going to have the recipes for you. So then my wife is vegetarian, so that's kind of her inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, not everything on our menu has, has meat in it and, mm -hmm. or, or bacon. And not everything needs see. meat. We, for, you know, we don't need to eat meat every day, I guess. No, we don't. <laughs> and it's, for the most part, this I think has been a great menu item. Uh, we do delicious. have a pork. We have a pork taco in addition to this one, uh, car carnitas. We have a chicken bacon. It's kind of like a chicken club on Ooh. in a taco form, and then we that do a buffalo uh, buffalo chicken taco as well. What kind of tortilla do you use? These are just Mission corn. Corn tortillas. Yeah. Okay, but you double you double them. I noticed. We do double them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that looks great. So this is corn. Well, you can use flour, I guess, if you want to use flour. Yeah. I I think we just we we tend to like corn better. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of ingredients. Very simple, but very flavorful. No, absolutely. Well, there's going to be a couple more going on top. Okay. Oh, that looks good. So, so that's our uh, the hot side of it. And then we do put um, a little queso fresco. Mm -hmm. And how many tacos do you offer? We have four on the menu. Four on the menu and yeah. five of the grilled cheese. Five grilled cheese. Okay. This one, uh, so the queso fresco, arugula. Mm -hmm. And we do a pear pico as well. And that's this? Yeah. Oh, so that's going to be a little sweet, a little spicy? Yeah. Nice. That is awesome. Look how good that looks. Oh, wow. That looks so delicious. Yeah, Perfect for the fall. Again, butternut squash, it's seasonal, so it, it's going to be in all the grocers in the farmer's Absolutely. market. That is a great looking dish. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go back over these dishes too because this is a, these are hearty portions. Yeah, that one's a little larger than maybe we would have in a restaurant, just slightly. Right. However, that one's a new butternut squash uh, pasta. So we put butternut squash, um, uh, some of our soup base for mm -hmm. our butternut squash soup with our Alfredo. And then there's walnuts, bacon, caramelized onions. Oh gosh, we have all the recipes uh, from today on our website, sonoraliving.com. So definitely go there. You can recreate all of these yourself.